about a year ago, NZXT came out with the H510 Flow. But now, they've got the H5 Flow. They've dropped the 10, I don't know why. Let's take a look and see what the differences are, because honestly, I have no idea. And they've sponsored this video today, so we're gonna do an all NZXT build in this thing. In case you don't know NZXT, they're a company that's kind of been around for a while now. They've been making cases and some other peripherals for years, and they're starting to like, make more and more. They're gonna make everything. I think we're missing a couple parts today to make this like truly all NZXT, but it's pretty close. They actually just released a new air cooler and I'm really excited about it, so we're gonna try it today. Aha! One of the major differences, this weird angled fan down here. It's supposed to provide better cooling primarily for your GPU and it's not present on the H510 Flow. The other major difference actually now that I'm looking at it is this is finally fixed. This bugged the hell out of me when building in it the last time is that all they've got room for is a 120 at the top here. Now it's fully open. We can fit at least a 240 up here. Lots of options, whether you wanna go AIO or air cooling. It looks like this is also covered now instead of being perforated. There's the old cable management, and here's the new cable management. And this is actually great. I don't like these small grooves and the separators and stuff. Just give me like a big channel area, like they've kind of done here. Oh, and I actually like their slot covers. You see how these are perforated? When you go and you set up your airflow, if you've got negative pressure or whatever and it's pulling in, you're gonna end up with dust and stuff trying to get in through here. In the past, I've actually taped over that and then sticker bombed it so that there wasn't any dust coming in from there. Cause you want it all to come in through like here, or through here. Yeah, they've got a nice screen right behind this big holy mesh here as well. So yeah, I kind of like that. Let's build a computer. Goodbye H510 Flow. Now H5 Flow is my new best friend. Uh, motherboard, motherboard. We got fans. Hey, a vertical GPU mount. We're gonna need the SSD. This is the T120 RGB. I'm actually really excited for this. We're gonna go with the Core i5 12600K. We don't need you, Mr. Z63 RGB. The puck for cable management, maybe. Oh, they make a mouse now. We got the lift signal 4K30. What's this thing, a capture card? Whoa, the Z690 is all the way at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll open their Z690 board. It's all white. It's got this nice motherboard armor that's gonna match this case like perfectly. I like when they do the foam inside the bag. It's really good. Oh, oh. Oh, Get out of my cardboard and into my motherboard. Give it a wiggle, put the lid down, close it. Let's get the memory in. Ooh, we got some all white memory. Beautiful. 16 gigs, DDR4, 3600, C16. Here we go. Uh, what do we got here? Some fan and some RGB. I've just been told that this cooler also comes in a non-RGB version in either color if you don't want that. People are gonna crucify me and say, hey, you're using too much thermal paste. To you, I say, no amount of thermal paste is too much. <laughs> yeah, before I install the cooler, I'm gonna get this motherboard armor off. How do you come off? You just pull off? All right, perfect. We got our crucial P1. <laughs> it took me a little while to find the label. It's a one terabyte NVMe drive. I can't remember if this is Gen 4. Yeah, nope, nope, Gen 3, but that's okay. It'll still be pretty fast. So this guy goes on top of that. Yeah, the reality is Gen 3 speeds aren't that terrible. And until direct storage actually becomes a thing that PC games are using, Gen 3 drives are totally fine. LTTstore.com. Oh, this is actually a little annoying, but if you're gonna give me metal bits for the AMD stuff, Give me metal for the Intel stuff as well. Intel is not compatible with metal. Yeah, it looks like it just sticks on here. It's just stuck there. So we don't have to worry about like holding it and slowly sliding my finger out. I love paper that folds lots. It's like maps. It brings back those thrown away memories of trying to fold the map back while your father yells at you because you can't fold the map properly. <laughs> I should, at this point, be able to just slap it down into those standoffs, give it a little smush. It just stops as soon as it's done. Really easy to install. I'm not gonna lie, I do hate these clips, but that's not NZXT's fault, everyone uses these clips. <laughs> the regular version of this guy without RGB is about 50 bucks, and then the RGB version is 60. Where's the power supply? Oh, okay, yeah, this is the heavy box, and that's how I know the power supply's in here. Why do we got two power supplies? That's crazy. We're not doing two builds. It's beefy, but it's a thousand watts. This is a little overkill for our build. Oh, this is cool. I am an absolute sucker for colored stuff. Even if the power supply is all black, I love that this comes in a big purple carrying case. This is probably one of the more premium cable cases I've ever seen. Oh, it's minor, but I like that their warning stuff is also purple. Give me a purple power supply. Like, please, I, I know I never see it. I don't care. I wanna see a purple power supply when I slot it into my computer. Oh my God, we got the <laughs> Um, It's beautiful. I'm not gonna show you why until I unbox it. 
but I'm very excited to use this. All right, what do we got? PCIe. I love how the express part of that is a lowercase e. But what I wanna see is, no, so it's a side load. On some cases, what you're gonna have is a plate that attaches to your power supply, and then you load it all through here. This doesn't have that, so it's gonna side load in, and we're also gonna make sure our fan is pointing down so that it gets intake from the bottom here. I'm really curious to see how this goes. I've never seen that before. I've never seen like an angled fan like that. Put it in there. Oh, baby. Wouldn't it look cool if it was purple right now? <laughs> So let's uh, plug everything in. That's two screw, one screw, two screw, red screw, blue screw. I'm gonna take my CPU connectors and I'm gonna run them through the top now. It can be really hard to, once the motherboard is in here, try to run them up through the top and then plug them in. If I didn't put this cooler in first, this would be easier. I'm stupid. You know, a lot of people hate the ATX connector or the USB connector. I hate the EPS connector. Be careful when you're doing this. Like I'm being careful and I'm not damaging the board. You're not gonna damage much, but just don't like, don't put it down and then move it. Cause then you could scrape stuff off the back. Now we just slide it back, slide it in, pop in a place there. Ah, oh, perfect. Ooh, one nice thing is about this uh, motherboard from NZXT as well is it's got a built-in IO shield. M3, KB5, I want the 632 five millimeters. I like that they're all packed in these separate nice little packs here. Now I can't fit the screwdriver in between the EPS connector and the IO shield. Um, I mean, the reality is I could call it a day there and it'd be okay. We've got like four screws in, that's okay. At this point, we pretty much just need the GPU. Let's put one 140 in the front, how about that? RGB. Gotta cut the plastic tape. Yeah, I'm cutting it towards me, don't worry about it. Same thing with the fan. I'm gonna run everything through the back first and then I'll run it up through whatever cable management hole makes the most sense. So you can go out through here, out through here. Oh, here comes the drain. Of course, this is like a really hard to screw in fan too. I'm trying to break my habit here where I put bits in my mouth. That's usually where I keep them. Easy access. <laughs> oh, okay, well that case fan is installed, which is pretty cool. This is gonna hang there, that's okay. Oh, I actually, okay, one thing that's I just noticed about the motherboard as well, it has a reset and a power button, that's great. I'm a big fan of that. Here's our HD audio connector, we're gonna throw that in the back and then put it just up through here and into the HD audio. One way to tell if your HD audio is plugged in the right way, it's almost always got HD audio written on the top, almost always. Oh, we'll do our USB. Actually, where is our USB connector? Um, I honestly don't see one. Oh, it's on the side! Really easy to get this one in. It's notorious for pulling out though, just like me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Probably my favorite thing about NZXT cases, you cannot screw up the start and reset switch and the HDD because it's all in a little F panel connector here. A little hard to get to because of the motherboard armor, but it'll all be worth it in the end because it's gonna look super pretty. I guess my only complaint, I kind of wish the motherboard armor was something that you could like put on after the fact because I like looking at everything before I do all of this. And right now it's hard for me to find the front panel connector. I've got to like go down and look for it instead of just seeing it right there. I have the power! power! Oh, okay, uh, that should be set to on already then. Yeah, all our fans are spinning. Oh, this one's not. One minor thing about the pre-installed case fan on the bottom, the angled one, is that it's not PWM, it's just three pin. Like, it's just for extra cooling, so you don't really need PWM on it anyway. Should be fine. Hey, I'm back. I took some new merch photos with the new color block short circuit sweater. I also realized that I completely forgot to put the GPU in. Here's what I was talking about before. And I'm sorry if this kind of like steals the show a little bit. It's just so stupidly pretty. I am personally a big fan because it's amazing. <laughs> It's got all these like crystals and these glow with RGB too when it's all turned on and whatnot. You absolutely could vertically mount and you can actually even get a kit from NZXT. It costs about $90. Comes with a Gen 4 riser, it's not too bad. Bell was just commenting on how clean the solid slot covers looks and I totally agree. I actually really like that and I kind of want more cases to follow suit. We're gonna put on a nice beautiful tempered glass toolless uh, panel here. The black version has a tinted tempered glass window. So if you're one of those kind of people who doesn't like tinting on tempered glass so that you can like really see the inside, you might be stuck with a white case. That being said, maybe you get a friend who doesn't want a white case, but he does want the tint, you just swap. Okay, let's use their cable management. Put our fan stuff right there. Cable management, oh yeah. Cable management, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Just notice now as I went to put away the EPS connectors, there's this side channel here. I actually love this. There is very rarely both a Velcro strap and a little like spot for them to just kind of hide away into. That looks awesome. I wanna be a cable managed PC, baby. So you know what? The real goal isn't to make it look pretty. The real goal is to make the side panel close. <laughs> well, not like that, it won't. Hey, there we go. Cool. There's a bit of a bulge, but that's all right. <laughs> B -b -b beautiful. That is a gorgeous PC. You know what would really fix it up a bit? Taking these cables and getting cable mod cables. It's fine though. Let's boot it up. Boop, boop, boot it up. NZXT, if you're listening, I know you're watching, please give me a reversed case. I love putting my PC on the left. I can't tell you why, I just do. There's dozens of us though, dozens. <laughs> This thing looks gorgeous. Oh, I'm gonna take off the caution sticker. I do love that they got purple on the caution sticker. I want colored motherboards to come back, damn it, please. Honestly, it looks pretty good. I think the only thing I would do is I would actually get a second fan for the CPU cooler, if only for symmetry, and just to hide some of the mounting stuff on the back there. Otherwise, everything looks really nice. I plugged everything into the back. That's what I like to do. But on our top IO, we've got a headphone jack. We got a USB-C, and then we got a USB-A type. We got a USB, USB-C, USB-A, power button as per usual. It actually lights up too. Overall, I really like it. I'm still not sure how I feel about the angled fan on the bottom, but it's fine. Like it's not in the way or anything like that. It doesn't look bad. Let's check out cam because we got cam installed because NZXT uses cam. We've got our RTX 3070. And then if you click on them, it actually gives you more information. So this is actually really cool. I like how it's got code name Alder Lake. And, oh, I actually really like how it's got our BIOS stuff right here. XMP probably isn't enabled right now, but that's okay. Yeah, this is really cool. Games. Oh, it'll tell me how much I'm gaming. That's actually... <laughs> I'll never show my girlfriend that stat. Okay, so they've got an overclocking feature that's currently in beta. It seems pretty easy. I can just go change core clock, change memory clock, change power limit. Hey, it'll pump, everything's set to silent. It's pretty quiet. I can get notifications. It's actually pretty cool. Mini mode? Ah, there's an if this, then that app. IFTT. So with NZXT cam, if this, then that, you can use it to do a bunch of stuff like change the profile when your GPU temperature rises above X degree, or you can get a storage usage email alert, or change your profile when network traffic drops below like whatever amount of kilobits per second so that you can like instantly know whether certain things are happening. You can find out more in the description. There you guys have it. That's the H5 from NZXT. You can get it for 95 bucks if you want the regular version and then the Elite is 140. Thanks to NZXT for sponsoring this video. Comment, subscribe, all that good stuff and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.